not the easiest getting it out of a small van. Welcome back to my channel everyone. So I'm currently out and about. I've got my old school Yamaha BWS with me. What I wanted to do in this video is show you how I load my bike into the back of my Volkswagen Caddy because if you're thinking about getting a bike yourself and you want to know just how simple it is or just how difficult it is I can show you in this video how I do it with my bike and then obviously I will link the bits that I use to get the bike in the van and also strap it down uh, if you're new to my channel please do subscribe give this video a thumbs up and let's get on with it oh by the way uh, I've created a second channel where I'll be doing all different bits of my bikes dedicated to my bikes and that is retro smoke if you go to the description of this video I will leave a link to my second channel in there thanks now the main thing is preparation if you prepare properly it should be nice and simple and what I mean by that is don't leave all your junk everywhere like this <laughs> get it all clear make sure you've got a nice ground to uh, well this isn't that nice but make sure you've got a nice level ground not muddy or anything like that it would just be a lot harder to get in the back of the van okay so here is my ramp you do want a good quality ramp you, i mean i have used scaffold boards and stuff like that in the past but if you can get yourself a good ramp because it's a lot safer a lot more sturdier and they're designed to be used for vans etc now you can see here we've got like this protruding edge that basically wants to lock in to the threshold trim at the back of the van make sure that it's nice and solid because if it's not what's going to happen when you wheel the bike up that's going to lift uh, trust me I know it's happened to me already <laughs> so what you don't want to do in the next step is panic you want to decide whereabouts you want your bike whether you want it on the left side behind the passenger seat or the right side behind the driver's seat now I've got tie down points all throughout so just make sure you've got your tie down points ready now what I like to do in my caddy is put the bike on the left side because it goes behind the passenger seat now what I'm going to do is wheel the bike straight in I don't want to use the stand I just literally want to keep it on both wheels without the stand engaged and I'm just going to lean the bike up against the side of this door and here now I can do the same this side but I like it behind the passenger side one thing I have to make sure if I'm out and about and I want to use the van is not to use the side door when the bike is in here because otherwise if I open the door up the bike's going to just flop about and yeah probably fall out on top of me <laughs> so let's uh let's get the bike wheeled in okay so i've got the bike i'm ready first thing i do is lift the wheel onto the ramp otherwise if you push it in it will push the ramp forward so i'm just gonna wheel that straight in keep your hand on the brake if you can whilst doing it it is quite difficult to do it in a smaller van than it is a bigger because you sort of have to lean into it while doing it. Now what I'm going to do is pull the bike to the left side of the van. So as you can see I've just rested the bike without any stand on the side panel and I've left the front wheel. Let me bring the camera in and show you. So that is literally just up against that. The front wheel is also pushed into the back of the seat just to keep it in place. Now the next thing I'm going to do is get two tie down straps, I'm going to tie down to this point here and also this point down here. Now I'm going to take my tie down strap and I'm going to pull this side here and then I'm going to run this side around the bike. I'm going to go through the rear rack and then I'm going to go through the wheel. Put it tight. Push that through here. And then all I'm doing is pushing that tight like that. And then that is in there, nice and tight. So you can see that's lent up against the side of the van. It's in tight. Now what we do is move on to the one in the front. Now all I'm going to do with this one is just so put this through here like that. 
Then, and then what I'm going to do is wrap this around the handlebars because we don't really want these to move, we just need these straight. So, I'm going to pull that down and then I'm going to lean down and put it down through the strap at the bottom, nice and tight. Right, so you can see that is nice and tight now. Just pull that as tight as I can. And then look, the bike isn't going anywhere. And I'm rattling that pretty hard. And what I can do as well, just for extra added support, is just recline the seat a bit more onto the wheel. So that'll just push back a bit. There you go, see, so stop the bike from going forward or anything when you brake. So that is solid. Now, as you can see, I've got very thin tie-down straps. They come in a pack of four from Amazon. They're ideal for what I'm using it for, for these, you know, small scooters and things. But obviously, if you've got a bigger motorbike and a bigger van, you might want to get the big, thick ratchet straps uh, to tie it down. But this is completely sufficient for what I'm using it for. You just want to make sure the rear is tied down nice and tight and also at the front of the bike because you don't want them handlebars swinging about or anything like that. Right, okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you found this useful and it's given you some sort of idea and inspiration if you're thinking about taking your moped or scooter or motorcycle or push bikes or anything out and about in your van. Um, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. I'll leave a link in the description for the ramp and the straps I've used for this bad boy here. <laughs> and I think that's gonna be it. And now I think what I'm gonna do is chuck my shorts on and go for a splash in there. I'm only joking, it's like three degrees today. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again for the next one. Bye for now. I'm never buying a co-op egg salad sandwich again.